Okay, so now we're fighting over the bag. This is literally just the packaging. We were just fighting over a packaging bag. This has... It looks like a legit bag, though. Does it even close? It has bubble wrap in it. But it says BH Cosmetics on it. That's kind of bougie, though, how they package palettes. Hey, I'm going to put all my makeup in here, and you can have it later. Ooh. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's do a swatchy poo. Ooh, that's really nice. That's so creamy. Let's do this one. Swatch the silver. Yeah, the silver. This one feels a little dry. Swatch this one. This one? That looks like Cyborg. From, um... Wow. <gasps> Those are really nice. I have so many swatches. Oh my god, look at how shiny they are in the light. Oh, can you swatch the green? Let me show your vloggers. I mean, your channel. The matte. Yeah. I like their palettes. I've used several before. Ooh. I really want to... Yeah, I've heard good things about their palettes. And it comes with a mirror. Nice. It's, it's like nice. A, a different palette that you usually wouldn't buy. Can I just dump it out? Yeah. Oh, you got... You scared my son! Oh, the, the brush containers. Yeah, I forgot you got the brush. I the forgot br I got mom another Why gift. can't I say the word brush? So, I got us each two, right? You got two. Don't open it. I want to. Those can be mine. I want to package hers. Yeah. We got the same ones, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I got me and my mom. So these. can I have your black Hopefully ones? she doesn't watch this. No, She's those I use those to travel for my friends. <sighs> can I have one? Wow, oh. those are really pretty. Why didn't I order these? Because you were trying not to spend so much money. I this know, I was trying to be a good so girl. This is so cute on my desk. Sis, put it back. Oh, I, I put the just trash put it in, in there. my suitcase like this. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Like, you got too excited. She freaking ripped that box apart. I just ripped it apart. Dude, I totally forgot about these. And they were having a huge sale, you guys. I got these for, like, how much? They were, like, $4. Why didn't so I sweet. wear any? So I really want some. Oh, because I said they didn't go with my... Oh, Vanity, because my vanity's silver. I wanted the travel containers that you have. My subscribers, if you watch my videos, you know that I'm obsessed with these brushes. They're so good, and they're always on sale. What were these, like $3 a piece or yeah, something? Maybe even less. Some of them were like... How much was one, our total order? It was like 50 for all, all these brushes. All this, yeah. Yeah. So I think we got... Like, this brush, I want to say, was, like, under three bucks on sale. So, this is the first one. This is a V1. I'll show it to both of our channels. This would be nice for a bronzer or for powder. Wait, do I have the... Yeah, V1. Yeah, you have it, too. Well, you don't have to open it, because I have it right here. This would be nice to do powder if you mm -hmm. just want, like, a wash. Isn't this what we got it for? Yeah. <coughs> no, I got this for powder. That's for bronzer. I have that brush. Oh, this I is your bronzer brush? That's okay. my bronzer brush. It's so soft, right? You just took all my face germs and put them on your face. Ew. Cleanliness in me and brushes. Okay, this is the V3. This is an angled. It looks like my MAC blush brush. I still have oh, you yet. You use this for blush? It looks like a contour you brush. You could do contour or blush. I like it these. It says vegan contour brush. I like these brushes for blush. I have yet to find a brush to replace yeah. my MAC Show blush me. brush. Wait. That looks like the blush brush you have over there. It's white? Yeah, that's my MAC one. I've oh, never the MAC one's white? Yeah, I've I never found a brush. brush that I liked as much I as that. I love that brush. Hello, handsome. I really needed a new blush brush, too. This would be good for contour. I think a smat wanted one of Is these to the contour. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, because she said she wanted an angled contour brush like my MAC one. What is that brush? The V3. I don't think you got a V3. If it is. Oh, you did? Then what's that? I'm so confused. We'll have to ask her. Okay, and then this one is the V2. That's I don't the one remember. I didn't get. Okay, so this is the one you didn't get, yeah. Apparently, I don't remember. We should have wrote it down, I told you. Not too late, sweetie. This would be cool for blush or powder or bronzer. I just love face brushes. Okay, you don't need to rub it over every inch of your face. It just feels so face. good. Nasty. Hello, sweetie yeah, what pie. What would you use this for? You could use that for blush. You could do it if you want to do bronzer too. Like I would use this on a client who had a smaller face and I didn't need a big brush like this to bronze. I think that brush is too big to bronze with. I like it. For me personally. 
This would be nice. I will because I have a really stiff powder brush. I wanted to try a softer, like you a just, more fluffy. She just picked all my brushes, and I don't even know what the fuck they're for. I just showed you them, and you told me if you wanted them or not. <sighs> well, obviously, I'm gonna want everything. Like, but we wait, narrowed it down, for? sweetie. These brushes are just so good. They're so soft. And okay, the now let's so look at the. That's the Studio Pro. Studio. I've ordered some eye brushes from the Studio Pro line, but I like the vegan brushes better. But what is this for? Tapered powder. What did we say I'm going to use this for? You can use it for powder, I guess. I wish I had more online orders coming in. I know, but it's literally about to be Christmas, Sarah. I know. You have like a bunch of boxes under the tree. Calm Don't down. be jealous. Ooh. Oh, oh. Honey, I'm not jealous. You know we going on that shopping spree. <laughs> You could use this for underneath your eye. Ooh, I want to get your essence powder. Oh my god, that's the best. It was really nice. Remind me. Okay. I have a whole list on my phone. I Did you try the, it? I need the essence. It's on my phone, huh? Did you try it? Yeah, yesterday. You liked it? And I need that Jacqueline palette. Like, the Ring the Alarm? Or you just... Oh, no, the bling. The purple, the right? Vault. The Volt, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I love the Volt I really palettes. hope I can find James Charles palette in stores before I leave. I think they'll have it. I hope. Because we could go to Ulta, we'll go to two different Ultas. Morphe. And then we'll go to Morphe. Patient. Are you saving your boxes for something? Are you patient to take them home and... Put them in your new bag that you won't let me have. Okay, that's tiny. Oh, this is the detail brush I told you about. This is one of my favorites. I was going to order another one of these, but I was trying to stop myself from shopping because... Um, for what? If you want to do detailed crease work, like if you do a cut crease, it's a staple. Trust me, sweetie. Yeah, so in our um, mukbang, someone asked who's the more professional. So this is an example of Sarah giving me tips. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. so profesh. Remember in that one q and I did, it's the same video that I just said I talked about the certain thing. And I was like, whenever I was younger, um, before I wore makeup, I always thought like girls had to wear makeup. And I was like... I was so stressed as a child. I was like, it seems so hard and Sarah's going to have to teach me. What if I never learn? I remember I was you used so to stressed. say you were never yeah, going to wear makeup. I did say that. Because she would be like, I'm never going to wear makeup. I don't know why girls wear makeup. And I remember mom was like, you could wear a little bit of mascara, Asia. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I remember. And now you do makeup. I remember the first time I ever tried makeup. I like can't stop playing with these brushes. <laughs> Listen, I was in like sixth grade. It was on Stonecliff. And I love wait, that brush. Let me tell my story. And I was late to school. Hi, baby. Or I think Sorry, I had Charlie like a, just looks so cute. I had like a doctor's appointment or something because I remember mom drove me to school instead of taking the bus. And I had like you know those like kids makeup. It's like ratchet eyeshadow palettes. Yeah. So I took like an orange shadow. I just took my finger and put it on my eyes. Are you serious? And then we were in the car, the whole car ride. I was facing the window because I was embarrassed, <laughs> and I didn't want mom to see. So finally, I was sick of turning my head, so I just like wiped it off. And it probably just like powdered away. It probably didn't. <laughs> it probably didn't even go on your eye. Yeah. Dude, you know what I used to do in the fifth grade? I used to buy body glitter. My mom would buy it for me at Those the dollar store. Those things. It came in a little pot. My mom would buy me body glitter from the dollar store, and that I would. Sounds like it would just break you out. <laughs> I know. Well, I didn't wear makeup, but in the fifth grade, I remember um, I was getting into makeup at the time, and. She would buy me the body glitter, and then I would take it with a little uh, painting brush, and I would put it on my lids, and then sometimes I would do a little line. Like, I would do it different every single day, and I remember my That's teacher so cute. My teacher used to call me glitter eyes because That's I was always so wearing glitter, cute. and then I would wipe it off before I got home so nobody saw that it. That is so cute. But then mom used to take me to, what was that store, Caboodles, Lip Smacker? In Lakewood. Do you remember? Was it like the one dollar makeup? They all they had a sale like twice Do a year. Do you remember and it that? It was like fifty percent. It was off. called Bell or Blue. Uh, Bonnie, Blue Bonnet. Bonnie Bell. It was Bonnie Bell. Oh. Do you remember when mom took us? She bought me an awesome like freaking thirty. Yeah. Lip smackers. I remember when they would have the sale because it's already cheap. It was like what two dollars a lip balm, three uh, dollars a lip when balm. Walmart eight dollar lip smackers. I vaguely remember that. I remember it was one at guys. We were some fucking weird children. There's a yeah, lot we of things really that happened, kids. but I won't say because you'll think we were like mental patients. We were literally. We, so, we probably need therapy. Yeah. So in our house we had an attic, but it was like. That attic was so cool. That attic, well, it was a refinished. My parents, when they bought the house, they refinished. Yeah, the attic. so it was like a, 
like the stairs and the door was so yeah, cool. It was, it was cool. a really like they made it into a huge room for they us. They made it, it it was an attic but it was split. Yeah. Into so a it big had like room. a big room and then a small room. Yeah. So my brother was in the small room and then me and my sister had the big part. Yeah. And then eventually we turned it into our toy room. Yeah. That was so nice. I love that house. I love that house. Our childhood home I that we grew up in. I fucking love that house. I love that house. I drive by it every time I go to Lakewood. Remember the tree in Katie's yard that we used to climb? Yeah. We carved our name in that tree. Do you tree. remember those pictures? It's, our name is still there. That's I checked it a couple... Goals. That sounds like something from a movie. I checked it a couple years ago, but I'm assuming it's still there. Rem- when we were kids, we did it in like saying? the sixth grade. I remember the last time I was there was like... I think I was in... Maybe I was 11. Yeah, you haven't Bobble, been back in forever. Bobble went to Ohio and we drove past the house and then he took us to see Miss Kathy. Oh, I love Miss Kathy. We like drove past her house and he was like, go see if she's home. And then we knocked on the door and she was like, oh my god. It was so cute. I think Aww. we were like, ele- I was 11. Yeah. It was when he lived, we were in Pittsburgh. And you guys went, well, because my mom yeah. moved to Pittsburgh. And well, we went with my mom I to Pittsburgh. Ohio. And then my dad, he was finishing school, was I think. Maybe. I yeah. think he was finishing school, so he didn't no, go to we like went a to year. Visit, and... I'm Sammy and them. Well, he didn't go to like a year later. Oh, you're we talking used to about back... moving. I'm talking yeah. about when we visited. Well, because we used to go back to Cleveland like once a month. Yeah, to visit them. Yeah, and like we still had our house there, so we stayed there. I was like so depressed when we moved, yeah. dude. But we I remember about that before, and her not. Yeah. That was like, oh, the knot in my hair, and mom had to cut the knot yeah. out, and then she yelled at me, and I was like, but I'm depressed. <laughs> so I, was like, I, was so I was like, I'm so sad. <laughs> All right, open up your next purchase. Oh, wait, I was saying, um, oh, about the lip smackers. Oh, my God. Do you remember the jumbo lip smackers? They were, like, this big. Oh, Dude, my gosh. When I was my in the childhood. fifth grade, my mom used to buy us the lip smackers, and I used to line them up. I had, like, ten lip smackers of all different flavors. We, me and Austin were, like, 30. We yeah. So many. I would line them up in my desk, and I would wear a different one every day. Anyways, so one night, I just remember it was, like, at night, and we were supposed to be asleep. Omar, my brother, came to me and my sister, and we were looking at all our lip smackers. He literally, (laughs) he sat there and, like, would take a bite of every lip smacker because they were, like, flavors, like, root beer or this or that. And I remember either he kept farting or or he was complaining that his stomach hurt the next day. (laughs) Now that I think. Were you like, I wonder why, idiot. But I love how me and my little, my poor little innocent sister were just witnessing our brother eat our freaking lip smackers. That's really Dude, weird. I never remember, knew that story. You know the sunroom in your room? Yeah. That sunroom was haunted. I always used to see a white figure walk in it. I told promise. I didn't know that. That's fucking scary. It was probably in my head, to be honest. That's fucking Because I used to read a lot of- That well, house was honestly amazing. The house was incredible. I don't think that house was haunted. I think, because I used to read a lot of ghosts. Well, I still read ghost stories. <laughs> you were grounded. In your when I was, because I was always grounded. <laughs> but I used to read. My mom would take me to the library. And, well, that was the only place I was allowed to go. Because <laughs> I wasn't allowed to do anything when yeah. I was growing up. But I used to buy the, what is it? R.L. Stein books? Oh, Goosebumps. Nice. And then oh, when I got a little God. older, Ooh. I started reading Fear Street. So I was always reading ghost stories. I think that's why I'm, like, really into horror and... Stuff like Anyways. that. But I was always reading ghost stories, and then I would read a ghost story, and my bed was against the back wall, and the sunroom, the door to the right. sunroom was there, yeah. and then my dresser was here, but there was a big mirror, I and I would, her. so the dresser, you could see the, yeah. the I remember. door, and it, I swear to God, in my head, I would see a white figure walking back and it's, forth. You didn't do anything? No, I mean, I would, like, go sleep in somebody's bed. Like, there was, like, seven of us in the house. I could yeah. just go to anybody's bed. Oh, my I'm gosh. I'm so tired. This room smells like pizza. We need to get our lives together and go do something productive. So we'll catch up with you later when we're on the way to the airport to pick up Mommy. 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 Yeah, we'll yeah we're picking up we'll, our Mommy from we'll the We'll vlog us today. picking up Mommy. Yeah. Bye. Bye. We're on the way to get Mother Dearest. Asia, why are you always trying to outvlog me? Shut bitch. up. We're both good. So we're on the way to get mommy. Mommy. In the airport. We're so happy. And Charlie is the happiest she because he it. missed Nana. Dude, like, who wants to be called Nana? Seriously. <laughs> She's not even 50. Okay. She's like, I want all my grandkids to call me Nana. Mom? Yeah. She said Lori. No, she told me she wants her kids to call... She wants my kids to call her Nana. Oh, only when, your kids. When she talks to Charlie, she's like, tell him Nana's coming. What about my kids? Fuck your kids, bitch. Just kidding.
Hello. Hi, Hi guys. What? We're coming. But how far? Two minutes. What the heck? That's two minutes too long. Okay, bye. Alright. Okay. Let's British people all day, okay? You know what? I'm not pretending this is my real accent. No, this is literally our accent. This is literally how we talk. Why don't they act here? Like, <laughs> you're like, this is literally our accent. <laughs> We're getting no, our accent. No, literally. Confused. I'm not kidding. This I just, is our accent. I just realised we haven't been vlogging all day. Literally, Sarah, if you ask me, like, tell me to go ask for bread. I'm That's literally not appropriate in culture, British okay? Accent. Omar, you no. suck. Whatever, who cares? I never fucking thought Excuse oh my me. God. Get, what There's type a, of bread is this? There's a pop. Let's go pet the Excuse pop. Excuse me, you heb. Worker, come here, please. You A to B employee, can you please help you me? You employee, please come here. Please, no. I need some help. It wasn't like that, though. I don't know. All right, here's the thing. I forgot my tripod. Hello, hello. What's all this then? <laughs> Why did you just ruin it? Uh, I and, the power. and now my arm hurts, so I think I'm going to stop vlogging until we get inside. And I can prop my phone up on something. Fuck, I wanna fucking know why run. <laughs> you didn't even try. I'm not good at bowling, dude. Go again, you have two tries. Oh yeah, I forgot. Wow. You're like my uh personal uh camera man. We should have put flash, the lighting is so bad. I know. Are you sure about that? <laughs> you went out on that side first and then that side. Good job. I'm better. Good job. Wow. Wow, so everybody did better than me. Oh, except that, yeah, never mind. It's my turn still. Oh, it's still Omar's turn. Are you vlogging? Yeah. Bottoms up. Wow. 